Driving home the other day, I was listening to a broadcaster reading the latest news from around the world. There was talk of war, inflation, mask mandates, crime, corruption, and maybe even something about a cat stuck in a tree somewhere. It got me to thinking about all those things we don't hear in the news every day. Where's all the talk about the wonders of human nature or the amazing scientific breakthroughs happening daily? I didn't hear anything about the millions of success stories that surround us or about any significant achievements in humanity. In fact, there was nothing hopeful, inspiring, or positive. As I listened, I felt a low-grade anxiousness starting to build. It would have been easy to let all that negative news get to me and turn what had been a great day into something less positive. Please don't think that this is another commentary on the media or how truth and opinion is shared with us. It's not. Of course, I see the things you see. I hear the things you hear. And there is a lot going on in the larger world that we are not happy about right now. But today, we cannot change that. We cannot stop the wars, end the pandemic, cure the sick, or even force the sun to come out. But we can decide how are we going to react to what surrounds us. We have control over that. We can choose to feel the fear and stop in our tracks, or we can choose to feel the fear and move forward courageously. There are thousands of books and podcasts dedicated to trying to gain a better understanding of fear. One book from the late Susan Jeffers is called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. In this great book, she writes, if we wait to stop feeling scared before trying to do what frightens us, we could wait forever. Pressing ahead is the only way to erase fear. Fear is such a fascinating emotion. It can wash over us at any time. It can be justified or completely unreasonable. I think we have all realized by now that life is not a bed of roses. It is, however, an exhilarating tapestry of scary moments interrupted by glimpses of calm. The question is, do we allow the fear to paralyze us or to propel us? It can be an incredible motivator a force that pushes us beyond our perceived limits. Or at other moments, it can completely paralyze us and make the easiest of tasks seem overwhelming. I have seen fear drive a friend to build a successful empire. I have also seen it stop a young man from simply getting out of bed. Of course, I am not talking about a life-threatening situation mental illness, abuse, or physical harm. I am referring to these moments when we are scared to talk to someone, go to a meeting, make that call, share a product, get on a plane, go to a global rally, or even ask someone out on a date. In circumstances like these, we need to stand tall, stiffen our resolve, embrace the fear, and power forward. As we do, we will feel the exhilaration of overcoming and succeeding. It's like a young child learning to ride a bike. When they finally lift their feet, push the pedals, and feel the rush of self-propelled freedom, that freedom opens their world to so much more adventure. So the next time you're driving home, join me in turning down the voices that try to scare you. Instead, turn up your favorite music open the windows and sing like no one is watching.